manufactures most of the amino acids that it needs. You don't need to be intaking this big lump of high protein animal flesh. It's just, it's useless. It's unethical. It's 2020. What are you doing, Whitney? Come on. Like, I'm holding her to a higher standard. I expect more from her. She seems like a, a cool chick. She really, really does. But this is not cool. Turkey burger is cooking. I'm gonna flip that in a few. I'm gonna start getting my asparagus ready. My favorite way to cook asparagus is just to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it. I mean, like, why, why not just do like a, a veggie patty? She went to Harmon's. I mean, Harmon's is like, I've been to Harmon's in New York, I believe, and they have everything. You're gonna get a veggie patty there. You know, it's so easy. You're living in like America. I mean, like so easy to get a veggie patty or make your own, you know what I mean? Get my bowl ready. I added a little bit so of jasmine. She really gets triggered anytime she reviews a video where somebody has eaten meat. She has to pause it every time she sees it. She just, even after she's already commented, it, she just can't stand it. I think it's because she's starved and she's, her body is literally crying out for this food, even though she's denying it with everything. But that's not even what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about how she is constantly saying how it's so easy, it's so accessible. I've already seen several places today where celebrities will talk about how they went vegan and they thought it was going to be so hard, but then it was just so easy, it was accessible, the food was yummy and they didn't expect that. And this is what everyone is trying to sell the public on. Earlier in this video, she says, why not just go to Whole Foods? And then that rapper girl says, just move your hand to the left. And I'm going to record the next time I go to Walmart. I'm going to show you guys the vegan section. It is like two inches wide. They've got like a few vegan sausages. <laughs> and the food is, it's crazy expensive. Nobody can afford to buy that stuff for... Maybe if you're single and you're just buying it like once a week, but for yourself and your family, just to try to adapt and try to get used to eating that way. But specifically, Whole Foods. I have never in my life been in a Whole Foods, and that may sound crazy to some people. These, these people talking like this, they assume everyone has access to this wide variety of foods and it's just not true I've lived in New Orleans I've lived in Baton Rouge I've lived in Kentucky I've lived in all over the place I've you know traveled the United States I've been out of country a few times and I don't know maybe there was a Whole Foods in those bigger cities but now where I live I just we have a Walmart, and we have like a little grocery store, and if you want to eat vegan around here, you're going to be eating beans and rice, and maybe you can get a hold of some tofu or something like that, but I don't know. These people, it just, it annoys the shit out of me. These people acting like everybody can eat this way, and if you're out, you can just order the vegan burger, which I think a few of our restaurants around here which is like a, an hour drive, by the way. When I say Walmart, <laughs> you have to understand, and like fast food restaurants, this is very far from where I live. We have to travel <laughs> to go grocery shopping. And sure, you could order online, like they say. Well, there's the, um, you know, Amazon, and I don't know, what is it, Thrive Market? Okay, well, for people who don't have money, when they do get money, they need to buy groceries right then. Believe it or not, not everybody, you know, has food stocked up in the freezer, in the pantries. Some people live paycheck to paycheck. And so right when they get paid, they have to go get some food. They can't, you know, order it online and wait for it to come in. Or what if they have food stamps? Food stamps, you can't order stuff online with food stamps. You have to go drive to the grocery store. And so you're telling people to live basically on tofu, beans and rice, and the few produce like fruits and vegetables they can buy when, they're, when they do get out to go grocery shopping. You're telling these people this would be easy for them to plan this all out for themselves, their family, and 
this would just off top be deficient because you have to get a wide variety of foods in from plants every single day and you guys know this you know this so it takes a lot of planning and then they say oh well, any diet takes planning okay and then when this doesn't work out because it's just so inaccessible and it's so difficult then you blame the person because they didn't do it right. You know, they weren't eating enough avocados or enough of... It, it is so absurd. It is so ridiculous, so illogical to expect so much work to go into planning food and cooking food and preparing food and sourcing food. And when somebody goes through all of this trouble and still turns out deficient, you blame them. It's always their fault. I just, it's not easy for everybody. It's not going to be easy for, it never will be. And never, and it will never be the best option. Even if it could be, you see what I'm saying? Even if you could do it, it would never be a better option than all of these kids just eating some damn eggs, drinking some milk, and you know, filling in the gaps elsewhere. Much as you hate animal foods, <laughs> the verdict is in. They are full of nutrition. And a wide variety at that. So it's so easy to just eat some eggs, meat, milk, and then fill in the, the few other gaps. Instead of depending on supplements and chronometer and just non-stop work. Or if you're really privileged, you have a personal chef. It's really easy and it can be really tasty because you can eat out at restaurants that cook all of this gourmet vegan food at least once a day or so and I, that brings me to Alicia Silverstone I was watching Live Kindly and this is what a lot of these celebrities that's why it's easy for them but what if what if it were what if it were for easy for everyone or what if it were doable for everyone is this what we want this is her little boy this is her son his jaw is not properly developed. It looks like his teeth grew in all weird. So, yeah, we don't want this. No thanks. <laughs> this is disgusting. What are you doing? You know, so this is a vast improvement. So, 10 points for improvement. Really, really. But look, look at this dish. It is very low in fructose. I'm the frugivore. That's what you're going to get on my channel, okay?